solve for x. I need to be able to leave the I need to be able to leave the x by itself. So therefore I'm gonna move the arc tangent is a negative and move it to the right because it's positive of arc sine of x is equal to arc tangent of 24 over 7. Now to get rid of the arc sine, I'm gonna take the sine on both sides. Remember, arc sine, whenever you see arc sine or arc tangent, it's the same thing as the sine inverse. So to get rid of the inverse, you take the sine on both sides. The arc sine and the sine cancels each other out, they're the reciprocals of each other. We get the sine arc tangent of 24 over 7. Now we don't know what the angle is. So therefore we're going to have to build a triangle within the first quadrant since it's positive. And we're just going to do a generic triangle. Tangent is your opposite over your adjacent. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and find the missing side. So we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. 20, um, c squared is what we're looking for. 24 squared plus seven squared. Your numbers on the test will be smaller, but in this case it's 576 plus 49 which would be 626, so this is 625, so therefore C is equal to 25. And some of you guys already have memorized that 7, 24, 25 is a Pythagorean triple. So now I can find the sine, which is your opposite over adjacent, so therefore X is equal to 24 over 25.